In this C++ Builder for iOS video, I'll show you how to combine gestures and actions to create a tabbed application and show how you can use gestures to move between the different tabs. So we'll say File, New, FireMonkey Mobile Application C++ Builder, and we'll choose the tabbed mobile application template. And we'll save this on our hard drive. And the template will create four different tabs. And we'll change the title to Tabs, Gestures, and Actions. We've got our four tabs down here at the bottom. We can change the style of each of the tabs if we want. For example, bring up the style lookup and choose a different icon to include in tab item three. And also set the style lookup for the tab item four to be, set the tab item to be downloads, for example. And then we've got our four tab items. We'll leave them named tab item one, two, three, and four. On our form, we'll add a gesture manager. And the gesture manager we're gonna associate with the tab control to move between our different tabs by making gestures on the device. Let's also add a T action list. And actions allow us to reuse code either based on standard actions or actions that we want to create ourselves. So we'll right mouse click in the action manager to bring up the action list editor. And we'll choose from our standard actions for tab operations the T change tab action and we'll name this our change tab action left and we'll associate an on update event handler we'll put some code in that says when we do the left gesture we'll check to see if we're at the first tab item in the tab control and if we aren't then we'll set the tab that we want to move to uh, equal to the tab control tab index minus one so the tab that's to our left. If we're already at the beginning, we'll just set the change tab action left tab property to nil. Uh, we're at the beginning, nothing to do. Let's go back and also add another standard tab action. And we'll call this our change tab action right. And we'll choose its on update event and add some code for the right action, which says if we do a right gesture and we're not at the last tab in the tab control then we'll increment through the tabs incrementing the tab index by one and setting the tab that we want to be displayed if we're at the last tab item in the tab control then we'll simply return nil which tells the standard action uh, not to move any further the last step is to use the gesture manager and associate it with these actions on the tab control. So we select the tab control, scroll down to the touch property, and expand it, and choose the gesture manager that we have. And then we can expand the gestures property, which allows us to specify standard gestures and interactive gestures. We'll see these in a future video. The rotate, zoom, pan, two finger tap, long tap, and so on. In this case, we're just gonna use two gestures, the left and the right, once we've chosen the gestures we want to handle, we have two choices. We can do an on gesture event handler and have an event handler that would handle all the gestures. The other thing we can do with gesture manager is have it work in conjunction with actionless. And we can say for the left gesture, let's associate it that with the change tab action left. And for the right gesture, we want to associate that with the change tab action right. And all we need to do is go and finish the user interface of each of the tab items. So what I'm going to do is just put a label on each one of the tab items. So here in the client area of tab item one, we'll put a label and we'll put it up in the upper left hand corner. We'll leave it label one because it's associated with tab item one. We can see that it's a child component under tab item one in the structure window. We'll select tab item two and add a label and we'll move that label to the right hand corner of the client area of tab item two. Select tab item three and put a label and we'll move this one to the lower left hand corner and then we'll select tab item four, give it a label and leave that as label four. So now we've got a simple user interface on each of our tab items, a label with label one, tab item two, tab item three, tab item four. The tab control component has an active tab property. It will remember the last tab that we selected. So current active tab is tab item four. 
want to make sure that that's the first tab so we can set it in the object inspector. The other way to guarantee that we have tab item 1 as our active tab in the tab control is to go to the form and select its on create event and notice that the that the project template is already put into the form create setting tab item 1 as the first active tab in our tab control. If we wanted a different tab item to be the first tab then we could change uh, this code here in the form create event handler to some other tab item. Make sure that our iOS device is connected. Test the connection, it's good. And we'll hit compile and run. Here's the splash screen. And here's our tabbed application. We can use the tabs just by clicking on them. We can also use gestures. Gesture right, notice the tab sliding animation. Gesture right, label three. Gesture right, label four. If we keep gesturing to the right, nothing happens. Of course, you're not seeing that while I'm doing it on my device. We can do the gesture left, left, and left. So that's how easy it is to incorporate tab controls, gestures, and actions into the user interface of your C++ builder for iOS applications.